Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video, and today it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. This is an early look at their upcoming big old mega figure, straight from Crisis on Infinite Earths. Awesome, right? This is Mobius, the Anti-Monitor, and he's looking all menacing right there with his weird whale mouth or teeth or whatever it's supposed to be crisis on infinite earths all the way around the box look at that they got the the right artwork on the on the back to promote it right right wink wink anyways here's the barcode look for ain't time monitor to hit store shelves hopefully by the end of august so in the meantime this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, maybe think about rewriting all of existence to merge several companies you may have purchased in the past. This is a look at the brand new DC Multiverse, the Mega Figure Anti-Monitor from McFarlane Toys. And while I got all you pariahs here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. If you haven't already, Please do consider subscribing, old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like, like a big old anti-monitor, right? Now, typically DC Multiverse, they're around the seven inch scale, right? Well, I am happy to say uh, that they've really outdone themselves this time. I mean, look how giant the anti-monitor is, right? That is incredible. I'm so glad they nailed it. Totally joking. Now. I will say this, way back in the day, when I was at San Diego Comic-Con, Mattel was doing their anti-monitor, and they had a contest at the Mattel booth to give away one of 10, I believe, of these giant 30-inch anti-monitor figures, and I watched the ones that they were giving away just disappear, right? That would have been so awesome to have, so they do often pop up on eBay from time to time. But yeah, that would have been really incredible to have. But I will tell you this, all jokes aside, yeah, this is a standard mega figure size. So he's around the 9-inch, 10-inch mark, give or take, right? But what I'm most happy about with this figure is the attention to detail. This is the anti-monitor from Infinite Crisis. Look at the artwork. They nailed it. They held up a piece of paper with the image on it, and they copied it. And that is all I'm asking for, right? Doomsday? Anyways, this character is one that is just a staple for everyone that read DC Comics way back in the day. Yeah, he's come back often more times than not. He's even got a little twisty egghead action, which is cool, right? It doesn't really do much, just twists. He's got his weird mouth, which I think a lot of people, including myself, always thought were teeth. They're, it's not. <laughs> They're essentially the monitor, anti-monitor's lips, right? And then you have all the energy inside. So basically, this is the final form version of the anti-monitor. He's in a suit, so to speak, of just pure raw energy. So that's pretty cool, I will say. And he's got the little yellow inner tube things all the way around. He's got the silver. Nothing impedes the figure. Everything is pretty solid overall, right? Love the yellows, the blues. He's just very 70s, 80s-ish looking for that era of DC Comics. And I couldn't ask for more. They absolutely nailed the sculpt, the tone, the look. It's fantastic. So I'm having a blast with this guy. Now we just need to work on scale, right? So, I mean, in actuality, you could say for a split second, he could be this size... Right, I even like the little kneecaps and the elbow pads, right? They just make sense in the context of the figure. They really outdid themselves. This is a total role reversal from what I saw with Doomsday, right? So he does have some waist articulation. You get a nice sense of movement out of it. He will spin. I mean, this guy just stands still and moves his hands from time to time and then gets blasted by every DC Comics character from behind. One thing I'm going to tell you on the arms right here, at least on this side... I moved it up. You kind of have to move it out and to the side because the shoulder pad, if you hit it wrong, will basically unplug the arm. It doesn't break the arm, it doesn't hurt the arm, but it is something to take into consideration. So just go easy with the figure. These are designed to kind of come apart and play with, essentially, but eh, maybe not so easily, right? That's just one thing I want to point out. He's got double jointed elbows, he's got hands, he's got wrist. It's got all that jazz, right, with the bicep swivel. 
These particular hands are great. They're very outstretched hands, which totally makes sense for Animonitor, but fisted hands would have been an extra little upgrade for a $40 mega figure. You gotta put a little something extra in the box, especially with this type of character. Yeah, it is a unique, brand new sculpt. That's awesome, right? But a little bit more in the box helps bring these characters to life more on the shelf. The legs are sturdy, he's got double jointed knees. No, he doesn't have thigh, but it'll kind of rotate up inside the crotch pocket, right? The feet will go up and down, they'll rotate, rock, they got little toe articulation. So you're not gonna have anything crazy in terms of new articulation, but for the articulation he has and for what the anti-monitor does, he just kind of stands there, moves his arms, and creates energy, right? Which, now, that would have been a great accessory to have some kind of whirly, Kirby, crackle action going, right? Or even plasma hands, something like that, because you can get him into those poses. The articulation totally works with this type of figure. The design, everything works for the anti-monitor, except for displayability, right? So, yes, energy hands. Energy clip-on effects, powers, please, more of that. Because when you have a cool sculpted character like this, and he's just got his hand out, it's kind of boring. Heck, you could have given him a bunch of planets, just a little accessory. It was a whole bunch of balls lumped together that look like worlds. And he could have been smashing them together. And I would have been totally happy with that. Now, later iterations, you can do repaints of Sinestro Core. You can do the Black Lanterns. All of these are possibility, but mine in particular, if you repaint this, which you probably will, I would love to see a red-pink energy effect anti-monitor. I think that that would be awesome. It would be a presence on the shelf. Heck, even like a glow-in-the-dark kind of thing. That would be awesome too. Sky's the limit. This is a fantastic sculpt. It should be utilized. And uh, to be honest, we should have gotten a little bit more in the box. Now, like I said, no, the anti-monitor technically is not going to scale well, but at least he's bigger. In his prior anti-monitor monitor form, when he's standing around with Psycho Pirate, he's around this size, just FYI. Now, just to kind of show you scale between DC Multiverse and DC Universe Classics by Mattel, if you want this anti-monitor, yeah, he's taller than the you know, the original DC UCs, so those will work. And if you're a big fan of armor with yellow inner tubing all the way around, then yeah, he will go well with Superboy Prime. Superboy Prime is a jerk. He, everyone knows he's a jerk, and he should be imprisoned on Oa still, right? But if you have any of the smaller page puncher figures, the 2.5 inch, Technically, that will go well, and to be honest with you, that would have made for an interesting packing as well. Little teeny tiny heroes for him to grab or step on and destroy. So, that will wrap it up for my early look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, the Anti-Monitor from Infinite Crisis. And again, thank you to McFarlane Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. It's solid all the way around. I will say though, for $40, he did need some extras in the box and some paint. A good paint wash really would have brought this guy to life, but as he is, I am happy with that. I think I'm more in the realm of added effects would have been nice. Maybe, and I'm just throwing this out there, uh, you could have included a flash, right? Maybe a deteriorating head for the new target flash. That would have been kind of cool. Little pack-ins like that really bring collections to life. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Infinite Crisis. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now that we're getting all these cool, old-fashioned, just feels just right, DC Comics characters from McFarlane Toys. Well, if you're going to tackle Infinite Crisis, I would love to see Psycho Pirate, Spectre, Harbinger, Pariah... Sky's the limit, right? Maybe even a Kid Flash to make up for old Barry biting the dust here. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.